Well, now it's time for the KSNT Morning Conversation, and today we welcome Superintendent Tiffany Anderson from Topeka Public Schools. Good morning, Dr. Anderson, and thanks for making time. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, the governor has that bill that we just talked about to sign or veto concerning transgender participation in sports. Uh, what is the school board's stance on that issue right now? You know, really the district overall is waiting to see what happens with the bill, but I will tell you that we do not support anything that's uh, discriminatory. You know, Topeka Public Schools was one of the first districts that uh, cr created a number of uh, policies related to transgender uh, issues that would ensure that there was uh, equality and non-discriminatory practices within schools related to bathrooms and other kinds of things in classrooms. And so uh, our board has been uh, an advocate for equity and justice and not oppressing the marginalized and uh, that uh, hasn't changed. So we'll wait and see what happens uh, related to this most recent bill and then the board will respond uh, accordingly. All right, we'll follow that issue closely. Now this is very interesting. TPS is launching the first and only early college academy program in the region that allows seniors to graduate with an associate's degree and a high school diploma simultaneously. Can you explain? Oh, I'm so excited. So these occur around the country, but really in looking at Kansas, they're not very many. I think the closest one here is Wichita that just was launched maybe in the last uh, year or two. And so our students, a select group of students through a partnership with Washburn and Topeka Public Schools, we're in the final stages of finalizing this partnership. Uh, our juniors for next year that are selected uh, can actually apply for admissions, uh, go to college early, uh, partially supported uh, by Topeka Public Schools in terms of funding, graduate with an associate in liberal arts at the same time of their high school diploma. I'm so excited about this because uh, as we focus on college and careers, we're giving young people a running start. They will leave high school for the selected group, and it's a small number to start with, with an associate's degree uh, just already right out the gate. So we're excited about just continuing to expand and for people that are enrolling in Topeka Public Schools, especially for high school students, uh, this will be a new opportunity for next year. So we've talked on older student opportunities, but it's Week of the Young Child. I know that's a special sign for many. What is the district doing this week? Oh my goodness. In fact, that's why I have my Week of the Young Child scarf on from the National Association for Young Children. So we have a number of activities going on. You know, our elementary, they've been in school five days a week, full day. And so uh, everything from celebrating our young students on social media and those other items, but also we have kindergarten orientation. Uh, parents can actually have virtual tours within schools. They can also have one-on-one -on -one tours. Just call the principal. Uh, and then our young people are involved in all kinds of fine arts activities and uh, other kinds of activities that they're videotaping and putting online. So uh, certainly call a school if you're interested in enrolling uh, or having a virtual tour or in-person tour. And most importantly, celebrate the week of the young child, no matter where your children go. Now, you mentioned the fine arts. Your music education program just got special recognition. What happened there? They did last week. We were so excited that the National uh, Association for Music Educators acknowledged Topeka Public Schools as one of the top music uh, programs in America, actually. So we're one of the best uh, music education programs uh, in America. And so that seal is actually on all of our fine arts uh, websites. Uh, but that national recognition means a great deal. In fact, this past Sunday, there was a jazz concert uh, uh, on the uh, balcony at uh, Topeka High. Uh, and, and we look forward to the continued fine arts uh, festivals that are occurring now that we're back in person in particular. So congratulations to all our music educators in Topeka and beyond. All right, Dr. Tiffany Anderson, thank you. Our time is up. And up next, you can actually hear more about what's going on with TPS 501. They're going to give 2020 graduates a chance to actually graduate, so there's an opportunity for that. And there's also a virtual learning session that you can learn up to. And that all continues at 7 o'clock. You'll learn more with Erin LaRoe as Dr. Anderson joins her for more. And that's on Fox 43 AM Live.